What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Ask CoinSquare. My name's Kevin. I'm here with a very special guest, Don Tapscott, today. Don, he needs no introduction, but I'm gonna give it to him anyways. Co-author of Blockchain Revolution, co-founder of the Blockchain Research Institute, You've authored 16 books, actually. You're, you've been in this space for a long time. Um, so today we're talking a bit about the internet of value. Tell me what it is, what's it all about? Well, you know, I actually started my career working at Bell Northern Research in 1979. And um, we came up with this crazy idea that everybody was gonna use a computer and they'd all be connected to this vast network of networks that was based on something back then called the ARPANET and that computers would become a communications tool. And um, it was not a very popular idea at the time. Managers said to me, well, I'll never learn to type. You know, do I look like a secretary? But um, we were right. But if you think about that internet for 40 years, it's been an internet of information. And when I send you some information, PDF, PowerPoint, email, I'm actually sending you a copy. Uh, even with a website, I keep the original, and that's great for information, but when it comes to things that are critical to any economy or any society, which is not just information, but it's assets, things of value that belong to somebody like money or stocks or bonds or intellectual property or loyalty points or carbon credits or art or music, cultural um, assets, uh, votes, something of value that belongs to somebody, your identity. Copying those is a terrible idea. You don't want someone copying your identity or your vote. And if I send you a thousand dollars, it's really important I don't still have the money, okay? Right. So uh, cryptographers have called this the double spend problem for a long time. And the way that we manage this problem in our economy is through big intermediaries, banks, governments, credit card companies, social media companies, and they provide all of the business and transaction logic for every type of commerce. They identify, your Kevin, that's a dollar, or that's your vote, or whatever. They clear and settle the transaction, they keep records. And overall, they've done a not too bad job, but there are growing problems. These things are too slow, they cost too much, they exclude billions of people from the global economy, they capture our data. We have this digital feudalism, you know, that um, you know, we, we create this data, but they get to keep it all. They leave us with a cabbage or two. So what if there were not just an internet of information? What if there were an internet of value? Some kind of vast, global, distributed ledger where everything of value from money to votes to music could be stored, managed, transacted in a private and secure way. What if there were a native digital medium for value? Well, that's essentially what blockchain is. It started with Bitcoin. This anonymous person or person, Satoshi Nakamoto, wrote a paper outlining this new kind of, of uh, digital cash that solved this double spend problem. And people could do transactions peer to peer without an intermediary. And that sort of, eventually people like me, it took me a while, <laughs> caught on to what's going on here. And the real pony in this pile is not Bitcoin as an asset. Yeah, it goes up in value or down or whatever if you're a speculator, that's of interest. And it's not just that this is a cryptocurrency not controlled by a nation state. Um, there's some use cases for that. You know, the global diaspora, people have left their ancestral land sending money back home to their parents or their families. Um, but, but the real opportunity here is none of that. It's the underlying blockchain technology that makes this work. For the first time ever now, people can trust each other and they can do transactions with assets peer to peer. And trust is not achieved by a bank or an intermediary. It's achieved by cryptography and collaboration and some very clever code, which is why Alex Tapscott and I uh, call it the trust protocol. Trust is native to the medium. This is a really big deal. This is 1995, and we're getting a new internet, and arguably this one is bigger. Hmm. Wow. Thank you for coming in. That was a long this. answer to a short <laughs> question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. That's Don Tapscott and the Internet of Value. That's it for another episode of Ask Coin Square. Leave us your digital currency questions down below in the comments, and you could be featured on the next episode.